Simon Malathini, Cabine 1937 or 1938 to 27 July 1999, was a South African Bakanga singer. Known as the Lion of Soweto, Cabine is the acknowledged exponent of the deep voiced, basso profundo groaning style that came to symbolize Mbakanga music in the 1960s. Cabine was also a very active live performer in South Africa recording and performing with the Mahatala Queens and the backing Makona Tsotal Band from 1964 to 1971, and then again from 1983 to 1999. The Malathini and the Mahatala Queens Act was propelled into international stardom in the wake of Paul Simon's 1986 Graceland album. Early Career and Life Cabine was born in Newcastle, KwaZulu-Natal and grew up in Alexandra, Gorteng, one, as a young boy, he began leading Isikathamia and Mbube choirs at traditional Zulu wedding ceremonies. By the time he was a teenager, Kabine's voice was much admired. During the early 1950s, however, his voice became strained and was reduced to a growl. Initially, Kabine's rural parents thought he had been witched and took him to a sangoma. When the healer provided the simple explanation that Nkabine was only growing up, Nkabine's parents put their minds at rest. Nkabine himself joined the Quayla group Alexandra Black Mambasso from which the later Smith Choir would later take its name. Among the members his older brother Zeph and Aaron Big Voice Jack Lerol, the originator of the singing style later known as Groaning. In the later 1950s, Nkabine joined the Black Music Division of EMI led by prolific talent scout and producer Rupert Bopape, and began recording with female artists such as the Dark City Sisters and the Flying Jazz Queens. His growling voice perfectly suited the groaning vocal style, and he soon became the leading exponent of the style. His vocal rendition was to inspire a whole generation of groaners none of whom outlasted and combined. Professional career. In 1964, Rupert Bopape was lured away from EMI to Gallo Record Company. He founded the Mavithala Music Company, Gallo's new black music division, and took with him a number of musicians from his old stable including Combined. The Mavithala House Band, later named the Makona Tsohal Band, comprised lead guitarist Marks Manquain, electric bassist Joseph McQuayla, rhythm guitarist Vivian Gubain, drummer Lucky Monama and aspiring producer saxophonist Weston Kosi. The band added a more traditional and electric tinge to the Mbakanga music that had been locally famous for some years. Bopape formed a set group of about ten female singers. Among them Hilda Tlubatla, Juliet Mazamiza, Ethel Mingomezulu, Nobisuthu Mbadu and Mildred Mengzola, who were to provide all the girl group recordings at Mavithala, recording over and over again under many different names. Nkabind was placed as Mavithala's regular groaner. The most well-known name ended up being Mahatala Queens, and it was under this name that the Mavithala vocal team, fronted by Nkabind's searing groaning vocals, became highly popular and productive. The 1960s and 1970s were the salad days for Nkabind and his associated acts. He scored hits on Mavithala's Motala and Gumba Gumba with very popular numbers including Tsithunyuni, We Have Been Sent. Later recorded as Thokozal in 1986, Umoya, The Wind, Mbodlamain Grona, and Bantwaniana, Children, later recorded as Nina Majuba in 1986. Nkabine's success was represented by his national nickname. Indoda Malathini Malathini The Main Man and he made thousands upon thousands of concert appearances alongside the Mahatala Queens and the Makona Tsohal Band. In 1971, Nkabine fell out with Bop Ape and left Gala joining Satbell Record Company under producer Cambridge Maddie Wayne. He recorded with a new female troupe called the Malathini Queens and a new backing band. The Malathini Guitar Band, also known as Indlonlo Bashis. He scored equal success at Satbell, mostly due to his already famous moniker and impressive stage presence, and remained very popular throughout the 1970s. However, towards the latter 1970s, soul and disco styles were beginning to take over from Bakanga as the most popular form of music. 
Nkabine continued to churn out Mbakanga material but saw his popularity decline. Mbakanga Sol became the preferred format, but Nkabine refused to commercialize and scored little success.